Hey everyone, in this video we're going to prove that this limit does not exist. Okay, so proof. So before we do the proof, let me clarify some things here. Z here is a complex number, so we can think of Z as X plus IY. You can also think of it as an ordered pair. So I'll put a little arrow here, X comma Y, right, in the complex plane. Um, zero here, you can think of this as zero plus zero I, right, or just zero comma zero as an ordered pair. And this symbol here, Okay, this here, you can think of this as x minus uh, i y, right? x minus i y. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, work this out. So let's take the limit as z approaches 0 of z bar over z. Okay, z bar over z. All right, so now um, we can write this as the limit as z approaches 0. And this would be x minus i y over x plus i y. Actually, let me go ahead and write z here as an ordered pair. Right? So let's write it as x comma y. Let's replace the 0 with 0, 0. That might make it easier to you know, prove our point. So when you're taking a limit in a complex plane, it's different from real numbers. So for real numbers, the limit has to exist from the left and from the right. In a complex plane, this limit has to exist from all directions. Right? We have to be able to approach 0 from any direction and we have to get the same answer. So first, let's try approaching 0 uh, along the real axis. So to do that, we can set y equal to 0. So if y is equal to 0, we can take the limit as x 0 approaches 0, 0, right? Because y is equal to 0. Then we can set all of the y's equal to zeros. So we get minus i0 plus i0. See, the x's are going to cancel, and we're going to get 1. So the limit is x0 approaches 0, 0. So we get 1. So if we approach 0 along the real axis, we get 1. The natural thing to do now is try to approach 0 along the imaginary axis. So that would occur, well, let's see, if we're on the imaginary axis and we're approaching 0, that means x is equal to 0. So if x is equal to 0, so this would be a 0, y approaching 0, 0, right? Uh, and now all the x's are zeros, so it'd be 0 minus i y over 0 plus i y. So this is the limit as 0 y approaches 0, 0. Uh, and this is going to be negative i y over i y. These cancel. So we get, looks like negative 1. I'll write it again. Limit 0 y, negative 1. And this is approaching 0, 0. So we just get negative 1. So if we approach uh, along the real axis, we get 1. If we approach along the imaginary axis, we get negative 1. Therefore, the regular limit does not exist. So therefore, the limit as z approaches 0, z bar over z, does not exist. So hope that made sense.